The Namnia 1 power company was formed by Kansai Electric Power of Japan, EGAT International, and Lao Holding State Enterprise on 12 April 2013 to develop, finance, construct, own, and operate the Namnia 1 hydropower project. The company's head office is in Vientiane, the capital of Lao PDR. The site office is located in Bolikan district, Bolikam Sai province, where the project is located. The company also operates small satellite offices in both Bolikam Sai and Sai Sumbun provinces to manage environmental and social aspects of the project. The Namnia 1 hydropower project, known as NNP1, is a reservoir-typed hydropower project with a total install capacity of 290 megawatts. Construction is underway in both Bolikamsai and Saisambun provinces. NNP1 is designed to harness the energy potential of the middle and lower part of the Nyan River by creating a reservoir at the end of a steep gorge that the river has created through the mountains. The river will supply water to a power station situated on the left bank of the downstream toe of the 167 meter high dam. The electricity generated at this 272 megawatt facility will be exported to Thailand via a 120-kilometer-long, 230-kilowatt transmission line to the Nabo substation. Here, electricity is converted to 500 kilowatt and transmitted across the Mekong River to Thailand. A second, smaller 20-meter Labrit dam is being built about 6 kilometers downstream of the main dam. This creates a re-regulating pond upstream of the dam in order to regulate water flows, thereby minimizing disturbances to the river and people living further downstream along the Nyeb River. A small power station of 18 MW install capacity located at this re-regulating dam will supply electricity for use in Laos. The construction of the project is managed by the technical division of NNP1. Obayashi Corporation and its subcontractors are responsible for civil construction works, with Hitachi Mitsubishi Hydro awarded the electrical and mechanical works, IHI Infrastructure Services the hydromechanical works, and Loxley SRR the transmission line works. NNP1 expects to generate electricity in January 2019. At the end of the concession period, all plant facilities are expected to be transferred to the government of Laos. The NNP1 project incorporates a complete set of economic, environmental and social programs to minimize the effects of the project on local people and ecosystems. The social development program mainly consists of a resettlement program and livelihood program. NNP1 will necessitate the resettlement of approximately 3,500 people originally located in five villages in Bolikamsai and Saisobun provinces. The company has consulted with these communities, the Lao government and other stakeholders, and used local and international best practices to develop compensation packages to minimize its social impacts on the host communities. As part of the compensation packages, the project is working closely with local people and authorities to build good quality houses and community facilities for the villagers moving to the new resettlement village, located immediately to the west of the re-regulating dam at Hoi Sub in Bolikamsai province. The first phase of resettlement took place in late 2016, and the final resettlement is expected to be completed prior to the 2017 wet season. The resettlement village has home gardens, agricultural land including irrigated paddy, as well as public facilities including electricity, water supply, a health center, schools, market, bus stops, and all weather access roads. Under the resettlement program, the project affected people can choose to either resettle in the new resettlement village or receive full compensation and resettle by themselves. To ensure food security and boost income of project-affected people, the company has worked closely with local authorities and communities 
to develop and implement a wide range of livelihood programs. Since the construction of the project commenced in late 2014, the company has provided training and development opportunities and a startup fund to community members. As a result, they now have started to raise fish, frogs, poultry, and boost rice production through improved soil and other techniques. They also engage in handicraft production and grow other crash crops to generate extra income. The communities also have been trained to improve their produce and find markets for produce. Currently, fresh products such as vegetable and meat produced by communities are sold to NNP1's contractors and local buyers. The project has also commenced the provision of clean water to those resettling and to host communities. The aim of the livelihood program is to ensure that affected community members enjoyed improved living conditions and increased net income two times in 10 years after they have been relocated and participated in the program. Environmental protection is crucial to the long-term success of the project. The aim of the environmental management programs is to avoid and minimize its local footprint and contributes to improve conservation measures and environmental awareness on a national scale. The program is also to ensure that NNP1 meets environmental safeguard policies set by lenders. The environmental management program focuses on environmental compliance and monitoring in watershed and biodiversity management. NNP1 is working with contractors and allow governmental counterparts to ensure that it complies with environmental safeguard policies set by lenders and international finance corporation, including applicable rules and regulations of the Lao government. An environmental and social management and monitoring plan was developed and is implemented by contractors. NNP1 monitors and measures water quality and levels of dust, noise, and vibration on a regular basis in and around the project's area. To ensure water quality, NNP1 collects and tests surface water samples from 13 collection stations upstream and downstream of the project site from the Nghiep River and its tributaries. The project also measures water quality of effluent discharged, construction area discharge, and a community drinking water to ensure that it meets standards. NNP1 manages waste and by waste segregation, recycling and waste awareness training. Waste generated by the project is segregated and disposed of appropriately. After recyclables are removed, general waste is buried in landfill, whereas food waste is collected and provided to community members to feed their pigs. NNP1 works with local communities by initiating a community waste management program, where the project buys recyclable waste from communities and sells it to waste collectors. The program aims to instill good waste management behavior in communities and keep their communities clean. Through government counterparts, the project supports watershed management and biodiversity offset programs, including biomass clearance. A watershed management plan is being drafted. To minimize the impact on biodiversity of the project, NNP1 works with the Lao government and consultants to identify biodiversity offset sites. The sites are being assessed and a plan to manage this site is being drafted. In addition, the project provides an environment protection fund throughout its concession period to support the environmental protection program in Lao PDR. The administration division operated from the Vientiane office provides administration and logistics support to the project. This includes administration, human resource management, communications and government relations, and procurement of goods and services for the project. The Accounting and Finance Division is responsible for financial related matters of the project, including financial terms of conditions set by lenders. NNP1 project is operated under a 27-year concession agreement. 
During this period, the project expects to contribute more than 600 million US dollars to Lao PDR through royalty fees, taxes, and dividends paid to the Lao Holding State Enterprise, the government shareholder in the project. Lao PDR not only expects to benefit directly from the project through electricity supply, but also indirectly through local employment, community infrastructure such as roads and bridges, and through the use of goods and services supplied to the project by Lao businesses. Nam Nye One Power Company is committed to helping the Lao government to alleviate poverty and bringing prosperity to people in Lao PDR.